Welcome back to channel everyone. Today we're gonna be installing our gate for our sheep pen build. Uh, first thing this morning, before I got started, I had to destroy this fire ant nest down here. I killed the ants, came back, moved the ant pile, so now I'm gonna get stung by them, a bit by them ants. Uh, I had intended on putting this gate, hanging it on that brace. But when I got the gate down here, I realized that the panel that's welded onto the gate is on the inside and I want any pressure from the sheet to push against this panel up against the bar here. That's why it needs to be on the inside of the gate. So I'm gonna have to mount it on this pole here, which ain't that bad because that pole has been there for a few years. It's a... Uh, pretty stout i think it'll be all right for a gate i got that big top up there because i got cameras up top and I have a light there that light don't work no more matter replace that light but them cameras are just fine so i'm gonna hang this gate today by myself um it's better to have two people to do it but i'm gonna use my post hole diggers down there as my second man to hold the gate up try to keep it kind of level for when i hang it uh, shouldn't take too long, I hope. I've um, got pretty good at hanging gates. This one here has, has two adjustments. Sometimes these gates, uh, the bottom piece that hangs, the hanger, is welded to the gate. You can adjust that, but this one here has both adjustments. But I'm going to put the bottom screw in first. All right, get it mounted. And then I'm going to find out where I need to drill for the second hole on top. Then I'll get it all level. Uh, first thing I got to start off with, you gotta get you a drill bit, and that's right here's pretty dull. I'm pretty sure it's dull. Because your bit, you can't just run this into the pole, right? It's not gonna go. So you gotta get a bit that's a little bit smaller than this piece. So I put my piece on the bottom. If you look at that drill bit, so if you make the hole too big, then uh, it's gonna be loose. Yeah, I made that mistake before. So I'm gonna drill the hole first. I'm probably gonna go in about that far or so. And if I need to go any further, I will later. Let's go ahead and drill this first hole here. Gotta get in the middle of the post. It is do do, I believe. It's not gonna work there. So I'm gonna find another bit. Need to throw this in the way. So let me get my bag here and I'll be right back and try to uh, find a different bit. Well, the bit I need is 9 16th. I don't have it. I got a half inch bit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill up with the uh, half inch and come back with the, the old gold bit. Hopefully it'll work. get that other bit hopefully it'll just wall it out some So now I'm doing my screw it in. And a little trick that I've learned a long time ago is put a bit of oil on it, it'll help it go. And I'm glad them fire ants are gone now. I don't want to get hit by them things. So let's put this camera over here. We can see it better, hopefully. It is a bright day today. Warm, sunny. Spring is on the way. Daffodil is about to bloom. The peach trees are starting to get little buds on them, which I know is too early for that, but 
hopefully we won't have no big heavy heavy freezes but it's coming i think tomorrow night's must be the 20 again so i'm gonna just get this pipe wrench here and just gonna screw this in got enough wood left there so it'll bite these threads I may put that top one in with just a half inch and screw it in because it's easier up, up top. Just make it a bit stronger. That 9 16 might be just a little bit too big to use. Yeah, the fun finally came through. We finally got some fun at the bodies gate today. The gate was actually about thirty dollars cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. Still high, but now I can move on to the rest of the project. But I want to get this gate hung today, and then moving on to something else. Work on the rest of that fence tomorrow. I'm gonna scroll it in for a good ways. The bottom's out, maybe. We need to do more there. We can hang it up. Walk down here and see. Make sure it's not too far away. That's perfect right there. All right. So now I need to do the top piece. I'm going to put a level on it and see how the level it is right now. Pretty level. Let's see here. So I'm going to put that next one about. I'm going to go down a little bit because my adjust is down some. Now one thing that we do here, a lot of times, is we will put our piece opposite because somebody can just walk up here and take the gate off, just slide it right off. Kyle get your head under or something, push the gate off. So we put this, that's like down, to prevent theft, people breaking in, and keep the cows from knocking it over by accident. We take this off here, find my piece. I'm going to go ahead and use my half inch drill bit now for that top. Like I was saying, it is warm and spring's on the way. So instead of going down there today and working on that point of other fence, it's all ready to go. I'm going to get the tractor hooked up to the disc and I'm going to disc my garden up today. It's been pretty wet. And uh, I'll, I might plant some potatoes next week. But I need to get this up real good. Because that's supposed to rain a lot next Thursday and Friday. So I got to get it when the weather's right. Now I may have already lost. There it is. I'm going to go get that piece. Like I was saying, this piece here is going to go down like this. Right? And you'll see that when we're done here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this piece here up.
little bit. Just touch. You want to kind of say level with your pin on these holes? You want to call this out of it? Do it right. A little bit of oil on it. Started and get my pipe wrench out. Top one's a lot easier because you don't have to be on your knees. You just go at it. The top piece is what you can use to adjust your level when it's on it. You screw it in, it pulls the top of the gate up on the other end. You go out, it makes it go down some. We won't know that till we get it hung. She would need to adjust it anymore. This is a 14 foot gate we're putting up here. Um, that's enough size that saves a bit of money on it. I'm getting a 14 foot gate versus a uh, 16 foot gate. I got plenty of room to pull in and out straight, so I ain't worried about a 16 footer on this one. Gate beside of me is only a 12 foot. It's a bull gate. We don't use that gate there much at all. But when sometimes we have a trailer, you know you can't make that turn there. You have to use this gate, go straight out and turn. I want to get as even as bottom one as possible. Okay. bit to get snug. I'm gonna test it for levelness. I right, see it's level. You can see down there my pistol diggers is my second hand today. Third and fourth hands down there helping me out. Let's check the levels on this thing now. So it could go up just a touch. <clears throat> so I'm gonna walk back. Looks pretty good from there, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the uh, hole diggers out. And it usually has a tendency to drop down some. And it did drop down some. See there, see how the level this is now? It really needs to go up some. About a half inch. 
So what I'm gonna do on that situation is, I'm gonna screw that top screw in two or three more turns. That should raise the gate. We gotta take it apart to do so. Hold diggers back, put the hold diggers back down there so it'll hold up. So now what I can do is I have to loosen this back up again. That's why I didn't make it too tight. All right, so I'm gonna Make this go in more. That should raise it up some. Let's see how it works there. It went in a pretty good bit. So now I need to raise it up just a little more down here on the end. This is where you really need another person to be able to lift it up some for you. So I need to go up just a little bit more. Might have to put that pipe wrench down there on top of it. Get the raise just slightly. Go up a little bit. Well, I really need somebody else up here helping me. Oh, let's see. Guess I put my drill on there too. like my hammer all right look down here you see what i did i had to use my drill now i hope i didn't raise it too much but it's gonna swing down just a little bit from the weight of it so we'll see how it works out i'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up pretty good this time What you got to do, once you hang a gate, after you use it about a month, you need to come back and tighten these bolts again, top and bottom. So they have a tendency to form with the way the gate swings and everything just moves around a little bit, the molecules in the middle moves around, heat and cold. So you come back and tighten these back up one more time, about 30 days. Okay, let's see if it drops down any. I hope it drops down some now. do it too much not too bad check that out not too bad not too bad 
we're gonna leave it at that. Now I'm gonna test it, make sure it opens up where I want it to. The idea is for it to open up both ways. That fence is still on. That fence, it got the power on it. Perfect. Now, when you start building your braces and stuff for your gates, you got to really make sure you get your measurement right. Because there have been times where I made my post too close together and the gate would hit. You're going to go one way or too far apart where I had to cut a log in half or put a board up. But this is just fine here. There we go. Look at it from a distance. That's what it. That's what I get to do to hang a gate. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just get it kind of light. I don't have all the bars on it. Just have that panel on there. But what I do down here is I'll put a different lock on here, a different chain. I'll probably keep this channel here and add another chain to it and put a lock on there because there's just some traffic that comes up down this road here. And we don't want nobody in here messing around and open the gate up. So we'll put a lock on here that we have a lot of locks. That's key to lock for all these gates we got. And that'll be uh, used here. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I will be updating the playlist again when we start pulling that wire down there. I don't know if you see that far away. By that trailer. Talk about that in the other video. And I'm actually going to show you guys how I hook up the hog wire to our pulling device and you just come along and hook it to the truck and pull it. Um, not the safest thing to do, but that's why we do it. So appreciate you guys watching. Hope y'all have a good day.